Welcome to from one to four simplified chemistry channel. In our lesson today, we look at topic of symbol classification of substances, subtopic mixtures. A continuation, a continuation of the previous lesson, where we looked at solid solid mixture. Today we look at solid liquid mixture. We have two categories of solid liquid mixture. We have soluble solid liquid mixture, e.g salt and water then we have insoluble solid liquid mixture e.g sand and water insoluble solid liquid mixture method of separation include filtration decantation discussion decantation how is decantation done e.g how to separate sand and water the mixture is allowed to settle so that sand settles at the bottom and then the water is poured off into an empty beaker carefully now for us to separate a mixture by decantation there are conditions that favor it one solid must be insoluble in the solvent solid must be denser than the sol solvent now this method is not an uh, appropriate method that means you have decantation, disadvantage of decantation. Some solid particles still pass into the liquid such that the liquid collected still contains small suspended particles. Or you may say some solids may escape to get the liquid part of the mixture. Now, filtration. Filtration is the most suitable method because no solid may escape with the liquid part of the mixture. Terms used in filtration. 1. Residue is the solid particles that are left on the filter paper during filtration. Filtrate is the liquid that passes through the filter paper and is collected in the flask during filtration. The diagram below shows filtration methods used to separate a mixture of sand and water. The mixture was placed here in a beaker where it's poured through the glass rod here. The, this is the filter funnel as the filter paper. The residue remains here, that's the sand. Then the liquid, the water passed through. So you have what you call the filtrate as the conical flask. Now the glass rod was used to prevent the liquid from spurting out. It is also used to prevent the filter paper from the force of the liquid which may damage it. The property to make separation possible here is solid should be insoluble in the liquid. Application of filtration is on large scale it is used in water purification plants. Fuel filters in automobile engines. Planners at the end of the lesson. The next lesson we look at how to separate a mixture of soluble solid liquid mixture. <laughs>